Let's talk about the Derive node. The Derive node offers six methods to create a new field. In this video, we're going to talk about how to derive a new field as a nominal. The Derive node is located in the field ops palette. This node modifies data values or creates new fields from one or more existing fields. As an example, when you derive a new field as a nominal, you're going to be able to run a set of clem conditions in order to determine which condition applies to each record. So in this example, the table on the left has a field item sold. The table on the right has a new field sales categories that allows us to classify customers as those that purchased a low number of items from us, a medium number of items items from us, or a high number of items from us. Let's go through an example of how to use the derive node so that we can derive a field as a nominal. We're going to go down to the field ops palette and we're going to connect the premium derive node to a new derive node. We're going to edit the new derive node. We're going to specify the name of the new field and the name of this new field is going to be sales volume. We're going to specify how we're going to derive this field so we'll click on the uh, arrow next to the formula box and we're going to specify that we're going to derive this new field as a nominal. When we derive a field as a nominal, we basically are creating a categorical variable that can have a lot of different categories. So I'm going to specify that the name of my first category is going to be low. And I'm going to specify the condition for this category. So I'll click on the uh, expression builder and I'm going to specify that my low sales volume category is going to be anybody that for the variable item sold had a value less than 50. So anybody that purchased less than 50 items from us is going to be in the low category. I'll click OK. And now I'm going to create a second category. And the second category is going to be medium. And I'm going to click on the expression builder and I'm going to specify the condition for the medium category. For the medium category, we're going to put in anybody that bought over 50 items. So item sold is greater than or equal to 50. And item sold is less than 100. So we'll click OK. So now we're specifying that the medium category is going to be anybody that bought somewhere between 50 items and less than 100 items. And now we're going to also create a high category. We'll click on the expression builder and we're going to specify that the people that are going to be in the high volume sales volume category are going to be anybody that for the variable item sold has a value greater than or equal to 100. We'll click OK and we specify that as well. We also have a default value. This default value would be the default value if none of these conditions apply, but in this case all of these conditions apply to uh, these cases. We'll click OK. And let's take a new look at the new field that we just created. So I'm going to connect the sales volume derived node to my table. I'm going to run the table now. And we see somebody that the first person fell into the medium group because they have a value somewhere between 50 and less than 100, or in this case 99. We also see the next person is in the low group. They have a value less than 50. And we see somebody that's in the high group. They have a value that's 100 or greater. So we'll close out of this window. And let's go through one more example. What we're going to do here is we're going to connect the sales volume derived node to another derived node. We're going to edit that derived node. And we're going to give this new derived node a name. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the name to numeric payment method.
There we go. That's the name of our new field. We're going to derive this field not as a formula, but as a nominal again. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new field, but it's just really going to be a way to modify existing values that are string values. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to create numeric values. So it's just a nice little trick so that you can basically recode a variable so that uh, it becomes a numeric variable from a string variable. So the name of the uh, new category is going to be a one. We're going to specify this condition. And this condition is going to be uh, whenever the variable payment method is equal to, and I'll click on the field values button, auto pay, that's going to be a value of one. So one basically means that on the variable payment method, they had a value of auto pay. A value of two, I'll click on the expression builder, is going to mean that on the variable payment method, they had a value that was equal to, and I'll click on the field values button, the value of check, and I'll click OK. So a two now means that on the variable payment method, they had a value of check, and I'll add in a third value, value three, click on the expression builder, and I'm going to put in the variable payment method again. I'll click on the equal sign, and I'll click on the field values button, and I'll put in credit card, and we'll click OK. So here what we did was we just basically took a field that had string values and we transformed it so that it became a numeric field that's now going to have the values one, two, and three. We'll click OK. And let's just take a look at what we have here. We'll run that stream. You can see the first person had a value of check, the next person had a value of credit card, and now on the field numeric payment method, they had a value of two and three respectively. So that's an example of how you can use the derive node, deriving a field as a nominal, and you can either create an entirely new field, or you can create a field that's basically a modified version of another, where you've taken a string variable and you transformed it into a numeric variable.